Hello students, it is Mr. Sparkle. Good morning, good afternoon. I hope that you are doing well. I am so happy that you tuned into PE today. We've got a really fun activity today. It is going to be a frying pan sock toss. So before we begin, we need to get some equipment so we can be safe and we can be ready to go. When doing this activity, if you are inside or outside, make sure to check your surroundings, keep yourself safe, and keep those around you safe as well. If you do not have a frying pan, any flat object, will do to be able to strike and to catch that sock. Use a pair of socks, preferably clean, and also the frying pan, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no leftovers from dinner last night or from lunch or breakfast today. So let's go get our equipment and let's get going. All right, students, I have retrieved one pair of socks and my frying pan. For this activity, we are going to be using both hands. Feel free to use which other, whichever hand at the time and then we will just be switching. We'll be going for time. If you lose control of your sock and it drops, retrieve it, pick it back up, and then whichever activity specifically we are doing, continue and jump in with us. Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure if you do not have your frying pan or sock, pause the video now, and we are about to begin. So for this first round, we are just going to toss the sock up, whether it's low, high, medium, if you have to go and get it, just try to keep control of that sock. So we'll go for about 20 to 30 seconds and then we will go to the next one and switch. So sock in that frying pan. Make sure your surroundings are safe and ready to begin. Here we go. Alright, let's switch hands. So you get that other hand now. We're just tossing it up and getting a feel for it. the sock up and we're going to try to catch it low to the ground. So toss it up and catch it low to the ground. switch use that left hand now so tossing it up still trying to catch it low to the ground Catching it above our head. Oh, let's go above our waist. Above our waist. We should have flicked that sock up in the air like a chef. See it spin around in the air. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, go ahead and switch to that other hand. Tossing it up, still catching it above our waist. That would be pretty cool. Try to catch it. 
Nice and high, catching it wherever it is. All right, go ahead and switch hands. Toss that sock up, get it up high in the air. It's like a Japanese steakhouse. Where they play with your food. with your opposite hand while you are throwing that or tossing that sock up into the air. So we're going to toss it up, snap. See how many snaps you can do in one toss. I got three there. Ooh, about four and a half. Again, and this time, when you toss your sock up, you are going to spin around, so you might have to try to get that sock behind your body. Go ahead and switch hands with your left hand. seconds. How many times can you catch the pair of socks before it hits the ground? All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. We got 25. How many did you get? All right, students, thank you so much for tuning in to our frying pan sock toss. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Feel free to run the video back, do it again, uh, find some space, maybe go outside, get a little bit more room, and have some fun with it. Make sure to not use a hard object in the frying pan as it could hit your ceiling. Make sure to hold on to your frying pan, check your surroundings, keep yourself and those around you safe as well. As always, students, Make sure to click that turning button on Microsoft Teams. Take care, be safe, smile big. And until next time, students, Mr. Sparkle says goodbye.